Hi guys! <laughs> so, um, I'm vlogging today and we're gonna go swimming at. Is it Oban or Lily Pad? I've never heard of this. Oban. But gonna... li Lily Pad is like. It's the Oban River, but uh -huh. Lily Pad is like the little area that we're gonna be in. That's where I go rock climbing and uh, there's like some hiking. And the river is really nice, you can swim there. Probably gonna be really, really nice and like super pretty. And you guys want me to apparently vlog with Matt more because I, I don't know. I'm banned apparently. <laughs> I don't know, I guess like, I don't know. I guess like I maybe I used to vlog a lot more with you and like I, like I don't anymore, I don't know. Side note, if you ever come to Tennessee, like East Tennessee around like Knoxville and uh, stuff like that. I don't know, I think Obed's like two hours from Nashville, mm -hmm. which is a bigger city, so um, yeah, go to the Obed Wild and Scenic River. It's it's beautiful and uh, it's a little oasis. There's these people that live out there uh, that were kind of grandfathered into being able to live in the like um, in a protected area because it's technically like a national park not a national park but it's like a protected sort of mm -hmm. deal and uh yeah they have a brewery out there like they grow their own hops next to their house and they have a tiny little brewery and all of their beer like they make themselves and they keep bees and they make uh this uh this beer called the honey wheat ale and they use their own honey in the beer and it's it's really good yeah i'm really excited to try that um because apparently there's like that brewery that I've been wanting to try. Matt's wearing a shirt. Yeah. That says it. It's the lily pad hop, hop yard. Yeah. So I'm really excited to go because he's been like telling me about this place for a long time. And I kind of know where kind of it is because, or like where the, like the general area because we go to the Frozen Head State Park to camp a lot. Um, and it's around there apparently. So, uh, like if I am good at memorizing where it is, I might take Jesse as well. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah, and you can also camp at the lily pad for like three or four dollars per person, which is super cheap. I didn't cheap. know that. That's a lot cheaper than Frozen Head. Yeah. I didn't know. I already, I already like got the campsite, but. Yeah. The whole system that we live in drills into us that we're powerless, that we're weak, that our society is evil, that it's crime-ridden, et cetera, and so forth. It's all a big, fat lie. We are powerful, beautiful, extraordinary. There is no reason why we cannot understand who we truly are, where we are going. There is no reason why the average individual cannot be fully empowered. We are incredibly powerful beings. You know, I think I spent 30 years of my life, in the first 30, trying to become something. I wanted to become good at things. I wanted to become good at tennis. I wanted to become good at school and grades and, and everything I kind of viewed in that perspective. I'm not okay the way I am, but if I got good at things, I realized that I had the game wrong. The game was to find out what I already was. Find out what I already was. individual differences to stand out. So you look at each person, the immediate hit is brighter, dumber, older, younger, richer, poorer, and we make all these dimensional dis distinctions, put them in categories and treat them that way. And we get so that we only see others as separate from ourselves in the ways in which they're separate. And one of the dramatic characteristics of experience is being with another person and suddenly seeing the ways in which they are like you, not different from you and experiencing the fact that, that which is essence in you and which is essence in me is indeed one. The understanding that there is no other. It is all one. And I wasn't born Richard Albert, I was just born as a human being. And then I learned this whole business of who I am and whether I'm good or bad or achieving or not, all that's learned along the way. racial, 
sexual and religious chauvinism to rabid nationalist fervor are beginning not to work. A new consciousness is developing which sees the earth as a single organism and recognizes that an organism at war with itself is doomed. with this. Life's like a ride in an amusement park. And when you go on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored. And it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. Some have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and they come back to us, and they say, Hey, don't worry, don't be afraid ever, because this is just a ride. And we kill those people. Shut him up, I've got a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up! Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This has to be real. It's just a ride. But we'll, we'll kill those good guys and try and tell us that. Did we notice that? And let the demons run them up? But it doesn't matter, because it's just a ride, and we can change, change it in time we want. It's only the choice. No effort, no work, no job, no, no savings of money. money. Just a choice right now between fear and love. Update on the vlog. <laughs> how are we doing? Okay. How, how are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Very, very good. The beer here is amazing. I love it. They like do a very, very good job. Wow. Look, you look so cute. This one is, which one is this one? Montgomery Berry? Montgomery Berry? But the honey wheat is like the best one that I've tried, which is the one that Matt's having right now. This is like where the little hops are. 
Which we have like a beautiful ass sunset right now happening in the background. Usually like in the beginning of the summer, from those wires that are up on the tops of these posts, you'll be able to see vines hanging down and that's where all the hops grow, but they've, I guess they've harvested them all now. Yeah. And that's the house where the owners live and they make their own hops and everything. Firewood over there, there's like a lot of dogs around. They were playing music earlier, which I'm sure you saw the clip. This is where the beer is. Yeah, where the beer is. <laughs> and we got some black bean burgers over there earlier, but I was very hungry and we didn't even get a shot of them, I don't think. Right? I don't think we got a shot of them nope, at all. Not but the sun, yeah, the sun is setting right now. It kind of rained a little bit earlier. That's also why I didn't have my camera. It rained a little bit earlier. We met, we met like the coolest like van campers band life people that I'm just like in love with and I just like can't wait to like have a van life like they do. They have a little BW bus, right? Yeah. It's a, uh, what do they call it? It's VW, uh, I, I, I can't think of it. Care, what they called it. Still like such a cute camper and they showed us, they, they invited us over to like where the campground is. And they showed us like the inside of it and like how they converted it and like what they've done. They have like solar panels on the top. The guy's like an engineer, so he's like put tons of stuff in there on his own. Yeah. Um, they've done a lot of work on it. He has like he put solar panels on the top of it so they can have like power that doesn't drain the battery that starts the engine and everything. Like it's it's really a sweet setup. Like, you know, we always think like, oh, we're running out of time, but. It gives us hope because he started when he was like 27, he said. Ugh. And yep. that gives us a lot of hope because we always freak out about the fact that we like feel like we're running out of time. I don't know if like any other 20, like early 20 year olds feel like that as well. If you do like comment down below because I always feel like we're running out of time, like no matter what we plan. Yeah.